Marla's not coming back to the garage, and it's your fault. She's only taking a break, that's all. She's not going to walk away in her own business. She hasn't been in since last week. No, we put You pushed that too far. Maybe we can run the place by ourselves. We tried that before. You don't like computers, remember? And if Harla's not the manager, who will be? But last time they sent bleeding Leo in. And maybe this new manager won't be as flexy with the old flexi time now, Ray. I mean, no more nipping off for an early lunch to meet Nora. OK, OK, I'll talk to her. Hi, yes. See, I told you she'd get over it. Right. Are you going to tell her you're sorry? And that you will do whatever she asks from now on, yeah? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. She might not come back next time, Ray. Hey, sorry. I forgot these. Um, I also left the keys on the desk, so no hard feelings. Wait, wait, wait you're, not, you're leaving for good? Yeah, I thought I made that quite clear, Doug. Yeah, well, the thing is, well, we don't want you to go. Look, I know we got off on the wrong foot and, uh, well, we just didn't get back onto the right one, no? Ray, come on. I tried. It'd be different now. Yeah, he really is sorry, Arla. Yeah, yeah, I am. Look, it's not you. Well, it kind of is, but not really. This job isn't for me. You know, I'm sure Wayne will get you a replacement that can help you out, but these, these high heels are very hard to fill, though. Yeah, see us. That's it. I can't live like this anymore. Vinny, every day is like night of the living dead in there. You insult my friends now? We need to sort this. We both live here and this isn't working. I mean it. We either find a way to live together or one of us is leaving. You know where the door is. Meet me in the hungry pig to talk. Yeah? Two o'clock. I'm busy. Fine. If that's what you want. I'll be there anyway if you change your mind. Dervla was saying you haven't been in bruises at all. And she's worried about you. There is something I... I'd like you to have. That's your party flag. I know. And it will look fabulous on you. I don't understand. Any festivals or carnival, you can wear this in my honour. Well, why would I want to do that? I... I'm thinking about going back to Chile. I haven't decided yet. What? And I wanted to give you something special. Is this because of Will? Watching him walking around, knowing he got away with what he did to me. Everyone supports you. Not everyone. Some people are still a bit confused about the not guilty verdict. It makes me look like a liar. No, it doesn't. All it means is that there wasn't enough evidence to convict him. Anyway, who cares about a few people? I feel like I need to get away, where no one knows about any of this. <sighs> Think carefully before you start booking any flights. Hmm? You've worked hard to build yourself a life here. You have a business. What about all your friends? You're just going to leave a huge Cristiano-shaped hole in our lives? You'll manage without me. Don't be so sure. <laughs> it's too difficult, Dolores. I know it is. But hasn't that man taken enough from you? Don't let him run you out of town as well. But if it comes to it, I will wear that with pride. I promise you. You don't have to wash up. It's the least I can do. Listen, there was something he asked me to do before, but he had me over a barrel at the time. And if I agreed to it, he was going to help us mend fences. What is it? What does he want? To sell the house in Cashel. I think he needs the money. 
probably to pay a solicitor. She didn't like it much either. I thought it was to make a fresh start. Whatever. Look, I can say no. You know, we always said that we'd keep it for you, your inheritance. Sell it. Are you sure? I don't want anything from them. And I hate that house. Oh, don't say that. He was a fake. And so was her life there. Not all of it, come on. Let him sell it. Okay. I have to get to work. Um, are you gonna be all right? You okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. Really? Because no one expects you to be. Not right now, anyway. I don't know what to do. I haven't left the flat yet. It feels like I'm trapped. Well, we're taking the padlocks and chains off the doors. <laughs> What do I do when I see him in the streets or in the shop? Pretend I don't know him? I mean, he's going to keep trying to talk to me, isn't he? Yeah, he will. I can't cope with that. No, you can. Phoebe's I a pretty nasty to harm yourself. Oh, yeah, Mum said something like that. I should have stood up to him. But he knew he had this hold over us. You know, I gave him a way back. I won't let that back in. I swear. Right. So when you're ready, you look him in the eye and you tell him that. Don't spend your life hiding from him. I didn't think you were coming. Can we make this quick? Okay. I want us to start over. Wipe the slate clean. I don't need to wipe anything clean. That's obvious, given the state of the house. We need to find a compromise. One where you don't whinge all day and go crying to pee? Yeah, if you like. Come on, then. Will I stop moaning? If you cut back on the parties and the amount of people in the house all the time. That sounds like moan to me. Like I said, we either find a way to make this work or one of us has to go. And what makes you think Pete will evict me? I don't. But he won't have to evict me. I'll just leave. And then he'll replace me with someone else he chooses. He wants someone around he can trust to look after things. Well, maybe they won't be as moany as you. Maybe not. All right, so if I cut back on my mate staying and stuff, you'll stop getting in my face? Pretty much. I'll think about it. Thanks for coming. I've been going out of my mind. I came to the flat this morning, but your mum and Damien wouldn't let me see you. And you're not answering your phone. I blocked you. I want you to stop calling me. But I need to talk to you. I've heard it all before. And I don't believe a word out of your mouth anymore. I want to explain. It's over. I know you abused Chris. There's nothing you can say. And I know that. So you admit what Damien said was true? Well, he still goaded me, but... Yeah. I was also had to plead guilty, remember? I wanted to save us all the pain of a trial. But you didn't want me to do that. I believed you were innocent. I'm glad that you pushed me. 
If I hadn't listened to you, I'd never be able to work as a nurse again, or even worse, could have ended up in prison. Which is where you belong. Don't say that. Phoebe, you're my daughter. You're the most important thing in the world to me. I can't be. Or else you wouldn't have lied to me. You only care about yourself. Wait, wait. Look, I've told you the truth. Yes, I heard Chris, and yes, I lied about it. But it wasn't the real me. I was having some sort of breakdown. Look, I, I wish that I could go back and change everything. I did an awful thing. And I will never forgive myself. But please, don't cut me out of your life. I just, all I'm asking for is a second chance. Can you give me that at least? I don't want to lose you. Thanks for being honest with me. Finally. There was a few times that I almost told you the truth. I just couldn't bring myself to admit it. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm sorry. Don't be silly. Oh, you don't have anything to apologize for. How could you have known that things were bad at Chris or that I was struggling? I was good at hiding it. I mean, I'm sorry I asked you to fight. I should have let you plead guilty. But you couldn't do that. Because you love me. Because I'm your dad. Yeah. You are. And I'm gonna have to find a way to live with that. Look, Phoebe, I, I wasn't myself back then. I don't want you anywhere near me or my family. That includes Damien. We're done. Wayne said he'll make sure that the new manager is nice. Nice? By the great Auntie Hilda, who was nice. She'd give you a chocolate biscuit with one hand and a clip around the ear with the other. What do you pick a word? What about coined? Coined? Mm. It's a garage, you're not a crash. What are you like? What's happened now? Arla left the garage. Handed back the keys today. Hey, Paul. Hey. So you've actually hung up your overalls, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I did. That's why I'm here, actually. I'd like to take you up in your job offer. In Vinos. Manager of... of Vinos. We'll fill in the details later. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mandra, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's great. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so when can you start? Um, I can start tomorrow and I can't wait. Brilliant, yeah. <laughs> Every cloud and all that, huh? I'll assume you'll tell Wayne my news. Saves me the phone call. <clears throat> Regarding my hours. Sure? Yeah, I don't do weekends or afternoons. Hang on a minute. Oh, come on, Junior comes first. Take it or leave it. Okay, I'll do your marketing as well. Yeah. Like you said, we'd hammer out the details later, yeah? Hmm. Great. Right, Paul. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello? What do you want? I know what really happened between you and my dad. Everything you said was true. And every word he said was a lie. He hurt you. Really badly. Yes. 
He did. And I helped him get off. Come and sit down. <laughs> Look, if we live to him, he's your dad. That's a pretty lame excuse. He can be very persuasive. I should know. How, how, how did you find out? He told me. Or rather, he finally admitted it. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I, I don't expect you to ever forgive me, but if there's anything I can do... It's not your fault. People keep saying that, but I stood by him. And now he's a free man. He would have done it without your help. To think he could do that to you or to anyone. It's over now. If you wanted to go after him, I'll help. If his daughter goes against him on the stand, it'll definitely convince the jury. Phoebe, calm down. I just want to put it right. Look, I don't think you can try a person for the same crime twice. And even if I could go back to court, I, I wouldn't. I want to forget all about him. Which is pretty hard to do when he lives on our doorstep. But you can't hide away from him either, though. I'm not. Well, I was. Then I told him I want nothing more to do with him, and he knows to stay well away from me now. He may have won in court. But he lost me. And I was everything to him. Hey! It's past it. There's loads if you want some. No, oh, thanks. Look, I uh, thought about the whole compromise thing. Yeah? Can't do it. So I'll move out. Uh, where will you go? You know what it's like out there. I'll find somewhere. And you'll have the same problem again. You can't put up every wave from stray that comes knocking at the door. I was like them once, all right? Moving from floor to floor, just trying to get a bit of work or a place to stay. It's not easy. What about your family? I haven't spoken to them since I was 14. You've been on your own since then? Huh. You think everyone grows up in a perfect little house with dinner on the table every night? No. Of course not. You had me worried for a minute there. Look, I know it's a head wreck for you living with me, so I'll just leave. Pete will be delighted anyway. Hold on. I only asked for you to cut back on the amount of people staying. I can't turn my mates away, Sean. I don't mind a few mates hanging out here. But when it's a mate of a mate of a mate, it's too risky. And what do you want me to do? Interview everybody? Well, say no sometimes. Or at least try. Fine. Yeah? Yeah. I'll try. And keep it safe? Front door show. No smoking inside. Right. Have a deal. Okay. This is low, even for you. Excuse me? Turning Phoebe against me? You did that all by yourself. That won't last. She'll see Damien for who he really is. Well, that he's a good person and always was. My answer to selling the house is yes, by the way. The sooner the better. Well, good. I and mean, it makes sense for all of us. You know, for the family. There is no family anymore, Will. Phoebe will come around. I'm her dad. It was Phoebe's idea to sell the house. I wanted to say no, but she wants to cut all ties with you. Well, she's angry now, but she'll get over it. Will she? 
She's grown up, if you hadn't noticed. You can't manipulate her anymore. Thanks for the phone. I lost mine, so it's been really handy. City is back tomorrow at 8 and as you've probably picked up at this point there are four episodes of Fair City Weekly from tonight. Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays at 8 and Sunday nights at half past 8. On the way, goodbye house, 